All right, guys, it is a hot, sticky summer day in April. It is now Tuesday, April 25th, 2024, and the gas-sucking truck is packed up, and I'm getting the hell out of here tomorrow morning. This might be the last, this will be the last chronicle of the collapse from Doomsday Trailer, and I don't know what my uh, schedule is looking like the next week or so, guys, so I don't know. Uh, what's going to this channel is going to look like but uh, before I go since we had our special edition Earth Day roundup yesterday I'm getting to uh, finally getting to my normally scheduled uh, Good News Monday roundup uh, where of course the previous two Mondays there has been no good news Monday roundup because there has not been one word of good news about the planet, but I can't remember the alert uh, listener who sent this to me and saying, Sam, how can you say there's no good news? Right here in CBS News, and after reading it, you know, from CBS News, Starbucks unveils new cold drink cups that use less plastic. Yes, Starbucks unveiled a new cup lineup that the company says will keep more than 13 and a half million pounds of plastic out of landfills every year. The new cups announced ahead of Earth Day, you know, the planet versus plastics is the theme of yesterday's. Uh, and to uh, celebrate the planet versus plastic, their new cups are made with up to 20% less plastic and will, and will require less water to make. But come amid a new report that found plastic production continues to pose a major problem producing more emissions than even the aviation industry. So, okay guys, I, again, I'm not a math major, so Elliot Jacobson says you're a math professor. If you're listening to this, okay. They're, they're saying 13 and a half million pounds per year is a reduction of 20%. So, a reduction uh, so, so that tells me that if that's 20, that you multiply 13 and a half million times four. Is that right? I I anyway, 52, 54, that still leaves 54 million pounds of plastic. Uh, going uh, into landfills since none of it's being recycled, 54 million pounds with a 20% reduction if 13 and a half is, uh, million is 20%. My math is 54 million pounds and understand they're not even talking about their coffee cups. They're not even talking about the goddamn uh, coffee cups here. They're talking about whatever they sell that's not uh, hot coffee. Yes. The, co the company's innovation lab developed the new cups, which will be used for cold drink pur purchases. The cups, now when you get down to the second, uh, paragraph will require 10% to 20% less plastic to make depending on the size of the cup when compared to their previous cold drink cups. There you go. Uh, these are the first single-use cups designed in the Starbucks Innovation Lab to specifically be more sustainable. Yes. Anyway, guys, but we're, we're, we're actually going to try to get semi-serious today. Uh, 
the calls. Uh, as you guys know, I'm not a fan of Donald Trump, and I'm not a fan of Joe Biden, and I, I obviously understand that uh, as far as this planet is concerned, makes no fucking difference whether Donald Trump or Joe Biden uh, gets in the White House. Now, if RFK were to get in the White House and ban fracking and the export of natural gas, maybe we could have somebody in there uh, that would actually do a little bit for this planet. No chance. Uh, but, but anyway, you know, as I have consistently pointed out that uh, Joe Biden, under Joe Biden's watch, not Donald Trump's, that this country is pumping more oil than Donald Trump ever did. Joe Biden, under his watch, more oil is being pumped in this country than at any time in human history. Joe Biden can uh, take the uh, applause uh, for uh, on his watch, uh, making Donald Trump green with envy. But of course, at the same time, uh, Joe Biden, uh, what was it, 22 million acres or something like that of our federal lands that he's opening up to his clean, green energy, unadulterated horseshit. Uh, save the planet uh, green energy plan which I guess that RFK is in hot water also uh, questioning whether Joe Biden's energy transition is going to do a damn thing to save the planet so as I've pointed out that with Donald Trump we have the frying pan of fossil fuels and with Joe Biden we have the frying pan and the fire with him. Instead of frying pan or the fire, with it, it, it's frying pan Donald Trump versus frying pan and the fire Joe Biden. But at least uh, the, 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 the difference between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, there is a difference for anyone uh, looks at me and tries to say with a straight face that there is no difference, in, in, environmentally speaking, between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Uh, the, the, the difference is that Joe Biden will throw a few little bones to the little lefty greenies to try to convince these clueless morons that he's doing a damn thing to save the planet. And so uh, as more and more, uh, particularly young people, have heard enough out of Joe Biden's lying sack of shit mouth, uh, you know, approving that giant thing in Alaska, that Willow Project, pumping all of this oil, uh, opening up exports of natural gas, sick and tired of it, uh, more and more young people are understanding that, uh, that there's not a, a, a fucking difference as far as the planet is concerned. And so now what uh, Joe Biden is doing over the past week is falling all over himself to throw a few bones to the greenies. And this is the difference, the only difference, between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, okay? Is that with Joe Biden, the little lefty greenies will get a few scraps and bones thrown their way. And which is more than you can say for Donald Trump. That, that, that the only difference, but you know, uh, it, 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 as long as we're going to be looking at, at, at one of these assholes because nobody uh, has the balls to vote for RFK, uh, who, is, who is another candidate where you don't have to vote for the frying pan or the fire, since that ain't going to happen, that's at least we've got a... Um, Let's talk about three bones, 
three bones that uh, Biden is throwing to the little lefty greenies to try to convince him, convince them that he has an environmental agenda. Uh, now this one has actually been in the works for quite a while from AP Biden administration moves to make conservation equal to industry on U.S. lands. You know, there is this huge, I, to, to this day, uh, I think people, I, I mean, I was in graduate school uh, but before I really figured this out. There is this ridiculous notion that when you open up a map of the United States and you see all of these green or light blue areas to designate our public lands that, that, that uh, I mean, I suffered. I, I was such a clueless moron uh, until I was in graduate school. I, I, I just thought that public land meant conservation land. Uh, who, who the fuck uh, was I kidding? Uh, d does any clueless fucking moron still believe when they look at a map of the country, particularly out west, and see those millions and millions and millions of acres of public land out west and up in Alaska, <coughs> that and it, it, it's, a, you know, as Edward Abbey called it, it's the Bureau, <coughs> what does he call the BL, uh, Bureau of Livestock and Mining. Uh, now, of course, Joe Biden is uh, opening up more public lands to mining and solar farming than Donald Trump ever will. <coughs> make, make no mistake about that. But uh, at least what he's doing now, if I understand this correctly, this is how the AP is trying to explain it. The Biden administration on Thursday finalized a new rule for public land management that is meant to put conservation on a more equal footing with oil drilling, grazing, and other extractive industries on vast government-owned properties. Officials pushed past strong opposition from private industry and Republican governors, and, and you better believe that Donald Trump will do, if, if Donald Trump, one of his first orders of business if he gets elected is it, it, going to be to uh, shit can this. Uh, that if Donald, this would never be anywhere on the drawing board uh, if it were Donald Trump instead of Joe Biden. Uh, strong opposition from industry and Republican governors to adopt the proposal. Uh, GOP members of Congress said in response they will seek to invalidate it, which they will do obviously uh, if, if Donald Trump gets in. So the, the rule from the Interior Department's Bureau of Land Management or Bureau of Livestock and Mining, which oversees more than 380,000 square miles of public land, primarily in the U.S. West, will allow public property to be leased for restoration in the same way that oil companies lease land for drilling. So if I'm understanding this, that People can, can bid on these federal public land leases, these pennies on the dollar, that, uh, to, to lock it up. It's, it's not, it, it, this is not very well worded, so I'm not sure I understand this right. It's not l locking up 380,000 acres of land. It, it's giving uh, people an opportunity to put their money where their mouth is. It, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's, it, it, it's public taxpayers' dollars that uh, should be preserving this land. We should not have to be bidding 
against goddamn oil drillers and ranchers to keep oil drillers and ranchers off our public lands that our public tax dollars are already paying for. It's unadulterated fucking horseshit, but it's better uh, than anything we've had uh, so far. Uh, to be leased for restoration, and the rule also promotes the designation of more, quote, areas of critical environmental concern, a special status that, that can restrict development. Uh, the Land Bureau, the BLM, the Bureau of <clears throat> Livestock and Mining, has a history of industry-friendly policies and for more than a century has sold grazing permits and oil and gas leases, you know, on our public lands. It's called uh, uh, welfare ranching. It's called subsidizing beef ranchers and, you know, these, these wolf-killing uh, cattle ranchers and uh, oil drillers. Uh, so it's just a handout. It's, it, what it is is a a, a federal handout uh, to industry is what it is. In addition to its surface land holdings, the Bureau regulates publicly owned underground mineral reserves such as coal for power plants and lithium for renewable energy, which of course Joe Biden is uh, pulling out all the stops across more than one million square miles uh, in the noble savage squall interior secretary Deb Halen said the changes would quote restore balance uh, to how the US government manages its public lands uh, we will see uh, environmentalists largely embrace the changes, characterizing them as uh, overdue, but Republican lawmakers and industry representatives blasted the move as a backdoor way to exclude mining, energy development, and agriculture from government acreage that is often cheap to lease, meaning pennies on the dollar, uh, going in there and raping and pillaging uh, our, quote, public lands. But now I guess uh, the little uh, do-gooders can, uh, I guess, environ, I, I don't know exactly who uh, can go up against these guys in this back door the Planet Eaters contend uh, the Biden is violating the multiple use mandate for Interior Department lands by catapulting the non-use of federal lands, meaning restoration leases to a position of prominence this is National Mining Association President Rich Nolan, quote, by putting its thumb on the scales to strongly favor conservation over other uses, this rule will obstruct responsible domestic mining projects, blah, blah, blah. You've heard it all before. So, uh, you know, this never would have happened uh, uh, under Donald Trump. Uh, and if Donald, well, when Donald Trump wins, it will be rescinded. But, but you know, uh, good for Joe Biden. Uh, he, he is doing this, uh, trying to save his ass from being a lying sack of shit uh, about his joke environmental agenda and he's, and he's trying to shore it up 
uh, speaking of something that he needs to uh, apologize for is that goddamn giant willow project that he uh, gave to, who was that, Conoco Phillips to rape and pillage up there in Alaska. Uh, so now uh, you better believe uh, he, he, he's trying to uh, mollify uh, the little greenies over that one. And good for Joe Biden. Biden limits oil drilling across Alaska's petroleum reserve. I've always enjoyed this, uh, the, the petroleum reserve. It was created a hundred years ago because there's so much oil up there. It was created uh, basically when we run out of oil everywhere else. Uh, <laughs> it, <clears throat> All right. The Biden administration on Friday, the day after the what I was talking about on Thursday, finalized a plan to prevent oil development across more than half of the U.S. government's mammoth petroleum reserve in Alaska. Uh, the uh, move is the latest among a string of actions by uh, Biden to curtail extractive development on federal lands and wall off more than 41 million acres for conservation. I love this. A, a, a string of actions by Joe Biden to curtail uh, extractive development on federal lands. I, I would have to look it up. I'm pretty sure that Joe Biden has opened up more of our federal lands than any president in history uh, for this uh, Save the Planet green energy transition. Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. They come as Biden seeks to garner support from young, climate-minded voters with his record safeguarding land and combating global warming after disappointing them last year by authorizing ConocoPhillips' massive willow oil project. Yes. And needless to say, the moves have drawn condemnation from oil, gas, and mining interests who say the Biden administration is locking up resources essential to fueling America's energy needs today and in the future. And that includes, they say, critical minerals for batteries and other technology. Yeah, Biden is really uh, putting the kibosh on those. All right, so what actually happened on Friday? Under the plan advanced by the Interior Department on Friday, future oil leasing and development is limited across 13 million acres of the 23 million uh, acre National Petroleum Reserve designated as special areas and leasing is completely blocked across 10.6 million acres of the reserve. Uh, I'm 99% I'm sure that Donald Trump should have no trouble overriding that and just opening, opening it back up. Uh, but you know, good for Joe Biden, locking up 11 million acres, 10.6 million acres of our petroleum reserve. And while he was up there in Alaska, Biden administration to halt major mining project over tribal hunting concerns. I was hoping this was the final, final kibosh over the uh, the pebble mine, but this must be some other goddamn uh, 
planet-eating mind they're talking about. The Department of Interior is set to announce a ruling that would effectively halt a major mining development in Alaska over concerns that dozens of local noble savage tribes will be disrupted by the project. The Biden administration was set to issue a no action rule for the federal land previously set to be the site of Ambler Road, a proposed 211 mile industrial road being that was to be carved deep through the Alaskan wilderness. The road was set to go through the Arctic National Park and preserve a major piece of protected land in the northern half of the state. The, uh, the news could end a years-long battle between local tribes who oppose the project due to its impact, its impact on hunting. There you go. Uh, the project, no shit Sherlock, was approved just days before Donald Trump left office by an interior head who Politico found to have covered up environmental and tribal impacts studied as part of the planning process. Uh, now it looks like the project is dead. The refusal of the federal government to allow construction of the road means there remains no plan for a supply chain to be set up to allow access to large copper and zinc deposits known as the Ambler Mining District in Alaska's Northwest. And the minerals are key components in batteries and engines for electric vehicles. And can't you hear these little uh, lefty greenies complaining that Joe Biden, uh, Joe Biden is locking up uh, minerals for electric vehicles. Yes. The Ambler Road project would be one of the biggest and most destructive in the state's history. The decision is expected to be challenged by a state agency, the Alaska Industrial Development and Export Authority, I bet. Uh, the move was also condemned by Alaska's entire bipartisan congressional uh, delegation. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Anyway, good for Joe Biden uh, saving the planet, guys. And all, all joking aside, this would not be happening with Donald Trump. So if you want to know the difference, this is good news. You cannot argue that this is good news for a tiny little slice of the planet to help uh, offset a tiny bit of the damage that Joe Biden is doing to the planet. Uh, but, but, but if anybody thinks these little bones are, 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 are in any way, shape, or form uh, going to make Joe Biden a, uh, a, an environmentalist, pull your head out of your ass. But, you know, it's better uh, than Donald Trump would ever do. And as soon as Donald Trump gets back into office, all of this shit's going to be rescinded, and everything I just said is going to go right down the goddamn toilet as Donald Trump uh, completely declares war on every corner of this country and on this planet. And uh, with Donald Trump, we will probably have uh, a frying pan ten times the size of Joe Biden's frying pan and the fire. Uh, is, is my guess is that Donald Trump 
uh, he will rescind I anything that Joe Biden did to rein these fuckers in uh, for one inch and will do everything in his power to, you know, just, to, it, it will just be an all, it will be a bloodbath if uh, if Donald Trump is elected. I mean, Donald Trump is correct. It will be a bloodbath, and the first ones bleeding to death will be wolves. Wolves and grizzly bears and mountain lions. You will see a bloodbath starting with them. But anyway, don't ever let it be said, I did not find some good news about Joe Biden by saving the planet. Anyway, and that wraps up my last rant from Doomsday Trailer for, well, it won't be 2024. I will probably be back here on uh, Election Day in Dunellan, Florida, which is probably about 80% Trump, I'm assuming. And uh, so we can welcome in Donald Trump on National Donut Day. And anyway, guys, I uh, say I'm on the road and I uh, don't know what I'll be getting to the next week or so. I'll try to get an Ain't Gonna Happen uh, Roundup rant in on Friday because I do enjoy those. Are you ready to hit the road a little longer? Are you ready? Are you happy to be done ranting from Doomsday Trailer for six months? Does that make you a happy dog? That we're done ranting? It's about, what'll make me happy dog? Get that lizard like that. Bye, guys.